Okay, in this video, I plan on to represent a linear proportional situation with a table, a graph, and an equation. And I'm going to use the form y equals kx. <coughs> Excuse me. Now, whenever you see something that says constant of proportionality, we need to make sure we understand these terms. These are very important words to kind of understand. When we see constant of proportionality, Um, we see uh, slope, uh, change in y over change in x, and that usually looks like this. <clears throat> Sometimes you'll see it like this, the change in y over the change in x. Remember, change means like subtract, so the change of y. <clears throat> over the change of x. Rise over run. Uh, let's see. Rate of change. These are all slopes. These all mean the same thing. They just want to know how fast or how it's changing. And so all these words here, constant of proportionality. Constant of proportionality is one where you use the K. So you might want to kind of, K stands for constant, so you kind of might want to remember that this, whenever you see constant of proportionality, you're probably going to use the, the K value. All right? And that's what we're going to do on this one. We're going to use the K value because it does say uh, we're going to have a problem here where the, we want to use the constant of proportionality. All right? And so let me give you an example. Let's say that uh, I got a number of hours and the amount of money earned. So let's say that uh, Susan is makes uh, $12. She works one hour and gets $12. Three hours and it's $36. And set, she works six hours and gets $72. Now this is an easy one. I didn't make it too difficult. I'm just trying to teach the, per the principle of the thing. So we're going to use K in this situation. Now K, the equation I'm going to use, is very, it's, it's the exact same thing as Y equals MX plus B. If you remember being taught Y equals MX plus B, and I'll write all this down as soon as I get through erasing this. Alright, so when we talk about Y equals MX plus B, okay, that's an equation. And you remember the B is your Y intercept. Okay, that's if you have a line, that's where your line crosses the y-axis, right there. This is the y-intercept. Okay, so that's the y-intercept. Alright, the m represents the slope. That's how, the, like, the constant proportionality, or the rise over run, or the change in y over change in x. All those words that I mentioned just a few minutes ago, that's m. Alright, All right, so here we go. We're going to do it with K. Now I want to show you something. Here's K. There's two equations you have to learn. First, when you're looking for K and you have a table like we do here, it's it's just like the change in Y over change in X. We put Y over X. Now notice it's not the change in Y over X. It's just you take a Y value. So let's say I take 6 and 72 here. I'm going to take these two guys here. The Y value is 72. Now you're probably going, oh, how do you know that by here? Well, normally the X is usually first and then the Y unless they specify it, okay? And so sometimes they'll tell you that the Y is on top and then the X, it's, like I said, it just depends on who it is. So if you look at this, I got 6 and 72. So I would put 72 over 6 and I would divide and I would get 12, all right? Now I can do that with all of them. So like I could take um, 8, 96 and 8 and divide, I get 12. 36 and 3, I'm going to get 12. And of course, 12 over 1 is 12. So see, they're all the same. Because they're all the same, it's constant. It's constant proportionality. They're all proportional to each other. So otherwise, I could reduce each of these, and I would get 1 over 12, or 1 12, just like I did in the top and bottom. But remember, we're talking about k, and k is y over x. So we know our k value equals y over x over x, which is 12 in this situation. So now here's what I'm going to do. Once you find k, okay, that's the constant, that's 
the rate, the rate, the slope. So otherwise, this is slope. All right, so this is slope. And so then the equation is y equals kx. Sometimes you're asked to find the x value in the problem. Okay, so y equals kx here. So since we know k, we came up with k equals 12. We just plug this 12 in here. So when we do this, our equation is y equals 12x. Now that's an equation. A lot, a lot of times you're asked to do direct variations or you know stuff like that, and they want an equation. This would be my equation. So in previously, what we said is that we've said that we were wanting to find a ta use table. Well, there's a table there. Graph. We're going to graph it now in an equation in form. Now this is the equation. So this right here is the equation. So this is our equation. So when it asks for an equation, and so when you're doing direct proportionality, or a constant proportionality, and using k, this right here is our equation. Okay, so we've done everything so far, like I said earlier. So now the only thing we need to do is make a graph. So I'm going to make a little graph, nothing fancy. Just put an x and a y here. All right, and we'll choose a little different color here to kind of graph it. Now let me go ahead and finish the graph first. All right, so... So I have, uh, looks like it goes through 8, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. And this goes up to 96. So we'll do it by 10s. Uh, uh, Alright, so 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. And I'll go ahead and erase this since we don't need this and I'll redirect it. Woo! Ten, twenty, thirty, forty, fifty, sixty, seventy, eighty, ninety, a hundred. All right, and so I'd label normally I'd label my my axis. This is hours. This is earned or amount. All right, and so one and twelve will be my first one. So it will be 1 and 12. These are going by 10, so I'm going to assume it's right here. Uh, then 3 and 36. So 3 was a 30. It's almost 40, so it's almost right there. And then 6 and 72. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and 72. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Alright, and so that's 9. about here. And then 8 and 96, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, so 8, and we went to 100, so we're figuring about right about there. And so remember, this is a direct, uh, this is a proportion, so that means it goes to the origin, and think about it, if I put, if I put 0 in for here, so that means y equals 12 times 0, y is going to equal 0, so I'm going to start at 0, 0. And so my line should look something like that right there. All right. So we've done. We took a table. We created a. a we found the slope, the constant proportionality, which is means slope. We use k for that. K used for constant proportionality. And these are the two equations you really kind of need to know for this situation. All right. And don't forget, it's y over x to find k, not change in y over change of x. Because it's a, it's because it's proportional, all right. If it was non-proportional, that means we'd have a y-intercept. That means we'd start somewhere high on the y-axis, and we'd create a line that way.